Hi Summers, welcome to Make Two. Today I wanted to show you the Latin Villa, which was part of the A Dance to Remember quest. If you complete the salsa dancing hobby, um, meaning that you get all 12 of the prizes for the salsa dancing hobby, as seen in this grid here, then you unlock the ability to build a Latin Villa on any lot in town so that you can have one of your own. Um, as you can see, the Salsa Dancing Hobby Grid has been completed in my game already. I just restarted it to get the five LPs for completing it the next time through. Um, I've built the house already on a premium lot, just so that you can see what you get um, with the Latin Villa on a bigger lot. If you build it on the premium lot, it's going to cost 175 social points, which is quite a lot. Um, if you build it on a standard lot, it's only going to cost you 125 social points. Um, if you need social points, you can always um, visit the social points house in my town, Sims Landing, which I've talked about in a previous um, video on this channel. Um, so here is an overview of the house on the premium lot. Uh, as you can see, you get a one-story structure at the front here, which is the main house. You get a pool. Um, sorry for it being dirty. I'm just going to bring over somebody to clean it while I talk you through. And um, behind the pool, you get this additional one-story structure, plus some fountains, a park bench, and a garden trellis. And if you'll notice, um, around the outside of the property, you get this really cool new fence, um, which you can only get if you build on a mainland plot. If you built on the island, you would only get the island fence, unfortunately. So if you want this um, fence, just make sure that you build a villa on um, the mainland. So going back through um, into the house, just so I can show it off to you, First, you come into this entryway through these double doors, and you get um, some new furniture items. Now, one thing to note is that um, you're not going to be able to buy any of these furniture items so far in the home store. You're only going to be able to, to get the rugs, um, which you can see a few of here, and um, those will be a mix of LPs and simoleons and SPs for pricing. And you'll be able to get the wallpaper, which you can see this blue wallpaper here. Um, there's some additional tiled wallpaper here and this, um, this wallpaper here. Uh, and you'll be able to get the floors in the home store. So you can see some of those features as well. But any of the furniture, if you want any of that um, and you want to use it in other houses, what you'll have to do, unfortunately, is um, put the furniture from the Latin Villa into your inventory um, and then take it to another house and take it out of the inventory and put it in that other house. Um, if you want to have more of the furniture than is available in the Latin Villa, unfortunately you'll have to build the villa a couple of times, or multiple times, um, and get the furniture from the villa each time into your inventory. So, um, as I said, in the entryway, you can see that there are new types of green armchairs with this patterning here new, cop new um, end tables, uh, a new sort type of lamp, and a new type of vase of roses. The entryway opens directly onto this um, dance studio because it's part of the dance hobby. Um, you can see that there's this jukebox here, which you can only have one of um, per property. So you're not going to be able to, say, put a jukebox in a different room or upstairs or anything like that. And you can also see that there is one of these new plants, um, which is sitting next to the jukebox. Uh, over here is the combination living room, dining area, and kitchen. And I'll just uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see. So you've got all new types of counters and um, stove and sink. You've got a new dining table, new chairs. Over here in the living room, you have um, new couch, a new uh, coffee table, another kind of ch uh, chair, and this gorgeous fireplace here. And this TV also is actually a new TV. It looks very similar to old TVs that, um, that we already have in the home store, but the wood is dark to match the other, to match the other furniture items. 
in the Latin villa. Um, and then you come into the bedroom here where you have a new type of bed, um, a new dressing table, or sorry, uh, dresser. And on the wall here, you can see there is um, a new decoration, a painting of salsa dancers. And just to note, um, there are windows newly available in the Latin Villa as well. You've got the double size, which is two blocks wide here, and a single size, which is one block wide here. Um, and then you have a bathroom with a new blue tub and also a new type of sink. And then again, just to scroll over to the, um, the pool area, you've got new lounge chairs, four of them in the back there. Um, you've got a new table. Um, I think these white metal chairs are already in the game, but these uh, folding chairs are not. These are new. Um, you've got you've got a new bar, tiki bar here, just to get a look at the front of it, and a new type of grill as well. So these are all sort of thematically matching each other um, and new for the Latin Villa. And then in the back, again, just to give you another look at the um, structure in the back, it's more of the same furniture that you get inside the house. Um, but if you were to build this um, Latin villa on a standard lot, you would not get this structure back here. The lot would basically end right here um, at the pool, and you would not get the stuff that's behind the pool back here. So just to show you a couple of cool things that I found out um, in the uh, villa itself, you see that these um, counters in the kitchen, um, there's a new kind with a shelf with dishes and what looks like uh, peppers and garlic hanging. So normally when you have a countertop like this with a shelf um, above the counter, you can't place anything on the counter. But with these, you can actually put something on the counter um, despite the, uh, the shelf hanging overhead. So I'll show you, for instance, if I wanted to place a coffee machine um, on the counter there on, beneath the shelf, I can do that. I can also place, uh, you know, for instance, a toaster. So I can do that as well. So that is a pretty cool feature to be able to use that counter space. Um, I wish that you were able to do that with other counters in the game, um, but unfortunately it doesn't seem that you can just yet. Oh, and um, here's another type of window, um, again, matching the others. It's just the sort of half size, um, half moon size window. It's only a single um, one by one. And um, another thing that you get in the uh, Dance to Remember quest are a bunch of new types of lights. So I'm going to place some of those in the um, salsa dancing room with the jukebox so that you can see what they look like. You get a variety of types of lights. Um, you get floor lights as well as ceiling lights. Um, and they are pretty cool. They make lots of different um, colors and designs. They go for a mix of um, LP prices and SP prices. Um, so I'm just going to set up a bunch around the room so that you can see how they work. And I'll turn them on. So you have this shell floor lamp. You've got a salsa lamp, um, an LED floor lamp. Uh, an articulated lamp on the wall, which makes some cool um, spinning rainbow, and another spinning lamp, which makes a flower pattern on the floor. So, yeah, these are some of the things that you can expect to see in the Latin Villa. Um, again, if you need social points, then feel free to friend um, on Facebook or Game Center to become a neighbor and be able to visit this town. 
Um, a link for those is available in the video description below or in the channel description. And if you liked this video, please um, tell us so in the comments. Or if you are looking forward to any videos of other houses, including a variation on the Latin villa, which um, I built myself, I'll be posting a video of that at some point in the future. Um, then please subscribe because those videos will be um, on their way soon. Thanks very much for watching.